I just spent over a month in Minecraft creating a Valentine for my wife. Here's what happened. This Valentine's Day, I wanted to do something cool and meaningful. Something we enjoy doing together is playing Minecraft. It's been a part of my life for several years and it's always provided a creative environment for me. So I was playing and I was trying to think of creative things that I could do for her. As I looked down at my desk, I saw this notebook that I often use to take notes or do to-do lists, and it was a picture of us on our wedding day on the cover. So that got me thinking, maybe I could create a pixel art image of us on our wedding day in our Minecraft world that we play on. That'd be pretty cool. So I browsed my Google Photos, and I looked on Facebook, but what I ended up deciding on was actually a screenshot from our wedding video. It was just the best thing ever. It was right after we had turned around and seen each other for the first time. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I took a screenshot and I uploaded it to this website called MapArtCraft. Now that created a schematic of the photo as a Minecraft pixel art that you can make a map of. Using those plans as a guide, I started gathering materials that I would need with several shulker boxes full of cobblestone and wool carpet. I headed out into an ocean that I had discovered before and began building my canvas. This was not a short task. With a map in Minecraft covering uh, an area of 128 by 128 blocks, um, I would need to lay a foundation of 16,384 cobblestone blocks. And this part of the process alone would take several in-game days. After working for quite some time, I realized I had a problem though, and one that most people don't generally have, not enough cobblestone. So usually it's something of an abundance for most people that you can't seem to get rid of or have a use for clogging up your storage room. But with the addition of Deep Slate down at the bottom of the world and the fact that I haven't really mined since early game due to villager trading centers, iron farms, and our other technological advancements, cobblestone just wasn't something that we had much of anymore. So I put a brief pause on building the platform in order to construct a stone generator. I decided on a stone generator instead of just a cobblestone one so that you could choose either to use silk touch or not based on what you needed for your project. After setting that up, I logged in with Taryn's account on her computer so she could AFK and mine stone while I kept working on the project. With plenty of stone now, I completed the platform and even tested the process of laying some carpet along the way. The original schematic I planned to follow had some great shading but at a higher cost of materials. And not only that, but it would take a lot longer. And I only had a few days before Taryn got back from her way basketball games on Sunday night. So I decided to do the 2D design instead, which I still thought looked pretty good. Thus began the meat of this project. It was fun to kind of work on it and check my map and see what progress I had made along the way. And as I got further and further along, I learned a few new tricks here and there that allowed me to work on it faster. But I decided to stop for the night and get a few hours of sleep so that I could start back up fresh in the morning. From some quick math, I figured out I had about 11 or 12 hours left to finish. And with two days to get that done, it was a lot, but it wasn't too bad. However, my biggest issue was that with some colors being really prominent in the photo, like green in the trees behind us, or black on my suit, uh, the white in her dress, I noticed that our automatic wool form just wasn't creating enough wool to get this project done in time. I originally looked at expanding the farm, but with some rough math, I figured even if I could build it quickly, the increase in efficiency just wouldn't produce enough in the limited time that I had. My next bright idea was a carpet duplicator, something I'd seen people online use for infinite fuel for their furnaces. So I began collecting materials to build it. Soon realized though that I didn't have a coral fan, something that you can only get in the coral reefs, which no one on our server has found yet. So thus began the search. I searched for ever. I looked and looked and looked. I even flew through a lot of rain and even snow, which kind of looks like uh, hyperspace in Star Wars, which is neat. But finally, finally I found one. I grabbed the fan and headed back home. After completing the machine, okay. I turned it on only to be pissed off that this also wasn't working. Apparently it was something to do oh, with on. a single player world versus a server, but I didn't have any time to figure any of that out. Basically, I was screwed Man. and there was no way that I was gonna have enough materials to get this finished. So I gotta level with you guys. 
Originally, I wanted to do this all in survival. Uh, I just prefer it that way, it's more satisfying, but unfortunately, if I wanted to get it done, I would have to continue in creative mode. Since it was something really nice for Terran, and it wouldn't actually affect our gameplay, it's just kind of a cosmetic thing, I decided that was fine. So, I hopped in creative, and man, I started flying. I was finally making some real progress, and it felt so good, and I figured if I stayed up Saturday night and I finished it, then I wouldn't have to work at all on Sunday. <coughs> Except for editing this video. <coughs> so, I put on some high energy music, I ate some sugar, and I grinded my butt off until 5 in the morning. And while it felt like my eyeballs were about to fall out of my head, I felt a lot of relief knowing that I had done it with plenty of time to spare. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I can't wait for her to see it. How did you do that? You wanna see? Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is that cool or what? I figured we could hang it in our bedroom. Yes, but uh, did you like make it like how? Okay, so I'll show you here. So uh, follow me and I'll show you the process. First of all, I needed a big open area. So I flew out into Wait, the is ocean. That it? Yeah, down there. <laughs> it's huge, you think I... You made it mind? out of wool and then you made it onto a map. Yeah. I uploaded it to this website that... Uh, made it in pixels. Well, yeah, so it basically figures out the closest color of Minecraft, like, wool blocks, and then shows you basically the whole outline. Real question is, how many hours did it take? So, I think it was a combined 17 hours over about three days that I worked on it. Um, and a lot of that, more than I care to admit, was running around looking for a coral reef at one point. That's so cool. You like it? Yeah. And I can make copies so you can carry around a handheld one too, if you want. Yes. It's like, you know, more people who take, you know, one picture of their loved ones. Yes. It's like that, but from my craft. Yeah, I can be the Peggy in your compass. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. There you go.